It is the first week of February and I still have not set up my work planner, so that's an issue. In this video, I want to show you which one I got, give a bit of an overview of everything that's in there, set it up and also show you what I will sort of have with it to not really decorate, but decorate it to motivate me. And speaking of decoration, I also want to do some decoration on this and in this so i have some stickers for the front i have some washi here for possibly a washi dashboard i really liked that when i did that in my b6 print impression so yeah that's what this video is going to be let me first clear off the fun stuff <laughs> and leave the of course also fun stuff here because this is the kinbor planner it says here on the back, Kinbor DT53159. I don't know. Wait, does do I still have Google Translate on my phone? So I still have Google Translate here. Let's see what it says. Kinbor Weekly Planner Blue Pattern, which is, of course, correct because this is the blue planner. Then a material is paper, inner pages, 88 sheets, dimensions 104 by 2. 10 millimeters that we could guess and then code is this code and then it says executive standard qb is that quality something t1438 and this says qualified so that is good oh that's the address of the and the telephone number of the company i got this kinboard planner of aliexpress actually a link where i got it from is down below and then when you take it out of the packaging you see here weekly Manage time and control life. Turn the page on yesterday. Only everything about today and tomorrow. Also, let me see what else is on there. About life. You and I are both authors. That's cute. And then next to the little pie chart. Weekly timeline. So that's the layout. When you take off the little paper. About the techo. <laughs> this whole video is just going to be me. Google translating this thing. It basically explains that you need to date everything yourself, then that it is an hourly planner that you can sort of batch off things, that's sort of this part, and then it makes suggestions about the time you can, how you can fit it in, and then this part at the bottom is what else you can do with the pages that are not a calendar. So there is some um, paper in the back that you can fill in how you like it and then make suggestions like movie lists recipes or something starting off this planner is a nice sort of relatively small size while still being quite large so to compare this is my 2020 hobony techo weeks mega i keep forgetting if it's the sweater one or the sneaker one i'm so sorry friends because i have friends who have been correcting me for ages um this planner is adorable i honestly thought this planner was more this planner size even though the website gave all the information about this planner so that was on me then what i found is that it's actually also it says on the website it's actually the same height as an a5 planner or notebook this is a leuchtturm 1917 hardcover gold notebook dot grid so i want to say that this is the size of a traveler's notebook insert also that is not fully the case okay maybe with cover it is but that is fun and that is also partly what i was eyeing on the website of Archer and Olive, because they usually do A5 bullet journals, but they also now have like the skinny ones, and I love that. I love when people make spreads in there, so that is super duper fun. And I also, by the way, grabbed my Happy Planner to compare sizes. So it is, okay, you do have the discs, but it is, um, how can I show this easy? It's like skinnier than a Happy Planner, but it is, taller than a happy planner so that is in terms of size i feel like it's a good work bag size because it can easily slip into like little areas and if you compare it to my iphone uh, 10 normal normal size it's quite sort of it's bigger obviously it's bigger let's be real here but it is in a similar sort of small size than i would say uh, a5 planner is or even bigger because this is the planner that i had for work and 
like the size difference is definitely there. The cover is a faux leather, I think. And you can see here on the inside, it's slightly hard to see. But this is, it feels like the inside of leather or like a maybe slightly suede material. So yeah, it's really nice and soft. It is also a, let's see, floppy planner. You can move it around, but it doesn't lose its shape. Like it doesn't do this when you just hold it in your hand. It stays quite stiff. And yeah, I like the feel of it. I like the size of it. And it's also pretty to see how you have the letters here on the front. Although I think I am going to stick something on here. Then also this planner has little marker uh, strings. And there's two of them, so you can put one in the monthly and one in the weekly, which we already see a bit of a preview for. But let's actually dive in and see what is in here. So you open up the planner. It says Kimber, Kimber, Kimber with their little logo. I really like the logo, by the way. And then you have a double page, sort of. And then it is fully undated. So it is dated for 20 something, which makes sense. Um, and you can fill in here. So instead of going Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you might have to say Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because they did make the sort of layout the same for every month. Then, ooh, yearly plan. So you can mind map here, then put some major highlights here. Going on, this I would assume is a sort of yearly calendar. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and yeah. So that was the yearly calendar, birthday calendar, for instance, important events, etc. And then we go into the monthly. So again, fully undated, January, and then oh, I already forgot what day January first was. Was that a Sunday? I think so. So one. If you start here with the first, you do have to put thirty and thirty-one here. Um, which is not an issue, but just FYI, it is Monday start. You can, of course, put some washi over this and do Sunday start if you would want to. Lots of room to write here or maybe put some stickers or washi down here. And then uh, one. There's 30 months in here, so you can either do J December or put the next January in here already. That is really fun. I think I will do January and then the next January, because no reason for me to already use it in December, because it is already February. And then we immediately head into the weeklies. I'm going to count the weeklies and then come back with more of an in-depth look in the this layout. There's 55 weeks in here, so that is more than enough to cover the whole year and then have a bit extra. The layout is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is perfect for me because a work planner, I don't work Saturday, Sunday. So it's fine that this is like one column. Plus, I don't work the Friday. So I could either put the, the events that I do have on Friday here, although that usually never happens. Or if things that I do on Friday have an inter interference with like the rest of the week, I could put it here. Or, and that is kind of what I'm thinking about, have this place for notes like if I put some washi here I have this area for notes and then maybe put washi here and have this area for general to do's or maybe opposite I think that's that I like that a lot to do notes notes to do both work perfectly and then each day each Monday to Friday is separated out in a few areas it is an hourly layout between here and here. And it looks like, so it's not a full day. It starts at 8, 6, 4 a.m. in theory. You could ignore this and do 4 to midnight because here it does go to midnight. By the way, the numbering of the hours is in the 24 hour format. You can see 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll give a quick overview of the layout and then I'll zoom in for a better view. Every day is formatted the same, starting up here with the area for the date. Then I would think some information on the weather because a little sun, a little cloud, a little rain, a little snow. And then we have an apple running and blue paper, which is it's really intriguing to me. I might need to read up a bit more in this sort of pamphlet thing. Then up top you have a priority area. 
And then the day starts from here in three blocks. So almost the morning, day and night layout that you might know if you've been around the planning community for a while. And then this bottom area you can also use for various things. The idea is that you have a top five here, which can be priorities. Don't forget. Maybe even if you want, you could put breakfast here. I won't be doing that because that is for work. Maybe... Oh, that I can do because I need to track that as well for my office hours. If I'm working from home or if I'm working from the office and if I'm working from the office, if it's a full day or if it is like I have three hours of meetings and then the rest of the day I will be at home because home is where my work office is. Zooming in a bit, you can see here the date area, the little icons up top. And then here is the area where I'm going to track if I'm working from home or from the office. Then this morning area is from basically 6 a.m. till about noon. Then you have noon till the end of the workday. Then you go into the evening and the night and then you have a little area for anything you would want. That is in here and then lots of weekly pages, all undated by the way. So you could skip and maybe do two years with this one planner. I am focusing now on just using this for 2023, using it fully, hopefully. And um, then after all those weekly pages, you come to the note pages. I'll again do some counting first. Okay, so it has nine pages of this grid note paper. I, by the way, forgot to say that everything here is gridded. This is gridded in the same way. It does have, if you want to, halfway lines where you can either do one, two, or one, two, or one, two, three, four. So nine of those pages. And then in the back, you usually have, yeah. So here you have a schedule if you want to fill it in. This is annual target. So annual target in category work, study, you got it, you, study, financial management, health, life, travel, family and friends, and entertainment. Again, if you don't want those specific areas, you can stick some washer over it, write different things, and maybe actually connect it to the mind map that you have here in the front. I recently watched a video of cats doing a mind map i'll link that video up above it was really informative and really inspired me to do something here and then oh we have some lists so there's a book list a movie list and ah uh, a present list like what did you get for whom or who gave you what i would think then here you have some information about paper sizes that is adorable so um, because I'm an architect, I know all these by heart. But this is amazing. I really like that. And then you have, I would assume, like shoe sizes. Whoa, that is so fun. So if you're not planning on using this, stick down some white sticker paper over it and go to town. Like you can do anything here. Then oh, a map of China. A map of the world with probably like travel wishes and also a time zone map. Then 24 solar temps. I need to Google translate this, but I do really, really love this. That is so fun. And then the final page, you have some room to fill out your information. And again, there's a little ruler here. So that is really good. And then you have another Kinboard page and then the end of the planner. So then now that we have seen a bit of the inside, I want to share why I'm actually switching from this larger, more standard vertical size Erin Condren Happy Planner, Masha Planner, Side Planner to something small. I got this planner because I really like this Ace 5 wide size is my size. It's it works for me. Vertical layout is where it's at. This was also a vertical layout. I also really like that this is a, a dupe basically for the Erin Condren Masha Planner style planners. Let me see if I can show you what a page... Yeah. So I didn't even fully use this planner. I did date it fully so <laughs> I can never use this again. And I also used up quite a lot of my weekend uh, banners. So yeah, mistakes were made. Back to why I don't use this planner. It just got too big. 
So here's an example. It's not the best example because it was off for two days, but it gives you an idea of, yes, I have tons of space to put down things and I desperately try to make the area I should write on smaller by putting in quite large stickers. But the amount of white space, it stressed me out. I'm used to like filling most of the page with stickers, which is not what I wanted to do for a work planner. I knew I had to downsize into something smaller and this planner with my big handwriting and the small space should be better for me. And also I do have some space for some stickers if I want to and that is actually why I have stuff here. Um, I have some stickers that I gathered for this planner that I did already actually use quite a bit. But this is stuff that is my work planner sticker pile. And then I have some additions new for this year. First, something I picked up in New York City. This sticker book is part of the, I think, stress management line of the Happy Planner, which honestly, I don't mean stress management for a work planner. Like that was coincidental. I really like the vibe and the sentiment of this sticker book. But when I got home from New York, it turned out I already had it. I bought it from Vinted. So what I did, I completely cut up that sticker book. Is that same sticker book? Well, half of it because I went half seas with someone. So here are tons of stickers that I can use to spice things up. And then for the rest, I have some stickers to date this planner with because from, I need to reorganize this, from Happy Sticker Designs, I have this sticker sheet in a light gold foil. And then I also have the January through April, May till August and the September till December sheet. Lots of stickers on here. I would probably only need half of these. So there's four and then four. And then some of the smaller ones have five and five. But if I should only need five. No, four. Sorry, because the fifth one can come from here. And then in theory, I could use like the other half to date my happy planner journal that I redated. And that, for instance, here I whited out. I don't even remember what month this was. Was this December? I whited out December and I need to put March on there. So if I have half left from these, that would be perfect. So all the text, all the scripts, sorry. Then here I also have a little uh, silver hollow holiday scripts page that will look cute in this planner as well. And then from a large simple stories 12 by 12 sheets i have the month of the year this i feel will be perfect for this little area so this is january will it fit i think it fits okay so not only exactly in the middle but also straight oh my gosh that looks adorable and then so these stickers can go here then these stickers um Hmm, there's actually no spot. <gasps> Ooh, if I washi over this, because I want to make this into a notes and to do, then I can put it there. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna do. And before I start doing that and probably speeding through things, I wanna decorate the front of this planner i pulled out some stickers from these are from studio stationery oh this is actually a really big one so uh, i have a few from hema and studio stationery that i might want start with yay also this one is from hema yay 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 yes then a thousand percent done and work 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 wine 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 that's better do you have it on my work planner like this one is relatively small but this one like bright yellow <laughs> So uh, I might actually put that inside, put that here, for instance. So, mm, and also what I picked up in New York is a sticker from Kate Spade. This is their pretzel sticker. It was on Super Clearance, I think $2. So yes, I know by putting it on here, it's going to scuff and not look as pretty as, as it is now. But I mean... 
to have like this Kate Spade thingy on there, I think will greaten my work, <laughs> greaten my time at work and greaten my productivity at work. I think I'll stick this on when I'm done with like all the little jobs that I want to do. And then probably like even I know it's silly to date this whole platter with all these stickers in one go. And then turns out that you actually won't use this planner. I am going to put down some stickers and I think it works well if I just do till April. Oh, also I forgot to say that this is relatively thin paper, but it is slightly thicker than this paper. It's not Tomoe River paper, but I feel that it's, it's very, very similar. We were going to date January so it starts on a Sunday okay so there is some pressure it's not too bad wait and I'm, I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna grab my pencil board from Simply Gilded because February I don't want to immediately push through everything Now that I'm saying that, let me actually try March with a different pen. Like the monthlies, it's not terrible. Ah, it still pushes. Anyway, um, the monthlies, if I, if I switch pens, that's fine. I'm just going to grab this pen from, I think this is from the Planner Society. But Simply Gilded has similar pens. And then March again starts on a Wednesday. So I might put some washi here and then April starts on a Sunday. So I'm going to, no, sorry, Saturday. Whew. Perfect fit. I should have actually done a pen test. Um, slightly scared to. Do you know what? I am going to put washi on here. So I'm just going to write hi. Give it a few, route high, and then immediately smudge it. Okay, so it is not smudge proof. I'll give that, oh, wait, I'll do another here. Give that a few more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's a lot better. And this one has been drying for a long time. Okay, still some smudging, but honestly, not as bad. So this was first, like, immediate. This was after 10 seconds and I'm blowing on it. And this was after maybe 30 seconds and blowing on it. And it's, it's not terrible, but I'm still slightly... Okay, still some... It's slightly... Still... Eh, still slightly inky. I did actually smudge it a tiny bit, so... That is something to keep in mind. Um, for now, I'm just going to put this paper here while I go to the first weekly. Though, it was Sunday the 1st and it was break, Christmas break. So why should I actually? I'm gonna I'm gonna be rogue. So this is gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now then, washi. Am I going to washi here? I can white out. I don't think this is smart. <laughs> Let's see how this goes together. That's actually not bad. looks a bit messy that's n not as bad as i thought okay don't press down too hard also why did i grab the print one because i know the one from action is better it's it's not bad I 
I'm going all over the place. What I forgot to say is that at one point when I was grabbing a pen, I was like, ooh, that is because from the corner of my eye, I saw my Tombows. And I think it will be super fun to add just a tiny bit of color here. Okay, maybe one line is cuter. No, it works. And then do this on the weekly pages as well. I think that adds so much without it being in your face. That looks fun. It does like watercolor lift a bit, but yeah, you can see here on the back, it's slightly moving up and down, but that's fine. And then we were here in the first week. January was blue. So. Hmm. Okay. Sticking down the sticker. Hello, January. Pausing that thought. Okay, not as bad as I... Okay, why did I color over it? <sighs> am I making it worse? I don't think I am. I am probably. And then I can do the same here. It's a work planner. It's fine. It's a work planner. It's fine. And then put this here in the middle. Okay. Cuter than I thought. I'm going to do that for the rest of January, February, March and April. So far, so good. I'm just going to end here. 1st of May is on Monday. Next order of business, putting down these and these. Dating the whole thing. So stickers, dating, washi dashboard.
you saw me put in all the color, put in the stickers and put in the dates for sort of the bottom area, I did decide to color two rows instead of one because I didn't really like how you had the line here and then this was not colored. So now I colored it in and I like it a lot more. I put some washi here at the bottom of the planner because a um, there's going to be some work being done on my public transport route. So I cannot do my normal commute. So this is sort of a reminder for that. And also it looks very cute. Then in these sort of this week and the next week, I started experimenting with a way in how I want to mark meetings. I don't think I like how this looks, but at least I tried for two weeks. Maybe I'll do like writing and then a little arrow. I think that might be nicer. I think I just need to use January as a sort of getting a feel for how I want it to look and see how and how many stickers I want to use. I think because I have Hello January here, then putting a to-do sticker here. I think I really like the look of that. So then this would be my to-do list and this would be my note section. Um, wait, I still... Do you see the difference, by the way, in color in fully and just coloring in this one line? So I forgot that here. Okay, pretty. Then I'm gonna stick that to-do sticker in. And I do see that some of these ha say today, but one, two... Yeah, I have half a year here at least, and maybe I can do a swap with someone who doesn't use this page. And also, actually I might find out from which sticker book this is, 2019. I didn't put it on the back, but I'll find out and then I have enough stickers. And also I could, of course, switch the stickers at some point, but it's kind of cute for it to match the whole planner if I can organize that and also yes i'm gonna not do that for january because it's a waste of stickers and also um i can't remember my to-dos or my notes right so this is sort of something of a slightly later date oh i could actually still put in these this can all go here this can go here, here. Wait, this one actually needs to go and join my to whole pile from New York. <laughs> that is still coming. These can stay safe here. This I don't want to stick on. Put that there. And mm, I have a Valentine's Day sticker and some cute heart stickers. might as well right okay that looks cute <laughs> um stickers go here and then sort of my final job besides organizing my things putting this aside as well Oop, put that out of the way is make my washi dashboard i've not thought about this at all <laughs> i do have like a little cute okay are you ready this is my cute little washi house that lives just off screen adore it um mostly simply gilded i think i'm just gonna want to do wait do i want to put white paper here because there's a logo there i do i have sticker paper here okay you kind of still see the logo through it but if i try to not use too many of the washi with the white backing it should work
I want to quickly check because in my B6 I did both straight across and diagonal. They're both adorable. I think I'm going to stick with straights. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with straights. So to get an idea, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, so let's say twelve, and then roughly there's room for another three. So let's say I need to select 15 washi tapes. And I think I also would like to add one from, at least one from Linus Potts. This is my Linus Potts collection. No, wait, let me quickly decide between these first. So can we just take a moment? This is my Radon washi plate bowl. Not sure, but love it. I'm really pleased with that one. I probably have too many washi. But I'm going to stack them on the paper, see sort of how far down they reach. And yes, try to make a little... <laughs> this one is too small. Selection of each and every one. Okay, so I am going to remove this one because I feel it's too dark. And then this one can go in its place. Okay, I think I'm there. Let's start with the with the order. Okay, I think I think this is it. Let's speed things up again. Oh my gosh, I am 
so excited about this. I just need to trim off these edges. And of course, <laughs> oh no, um, I have glue somewhere. <laughs> Oh, that was it. That's so funny. Okay. Uh, it was already acting up a bit, but I thought that I had it put. Oh my gosh. That is funny. Okay. Careful. Don't want to stick it down with any white showing. Like I was saying, I of course still need to trim the edges and do this in the back of the planner as well. Um, I still also want to do something here, although I might stick this together. I don't know if I'm going to use this, so I might stick all of that together. Um, although, if I stick this together, I can make like a little... This planner belongs to Lisa Lotte Page here, so that might be fun. But I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, this is, this is so fun. Um, yeah, this half page, I'm just gonna stick down with washi. Um, I wish with glue runner. This is not a good one, unfortunately. Wow, that was terrible. Um, the one, is it, okay, it's marginally better. And very probably I'm going to stick a piece of paper here. Also, now that I say that, I realize why didn't I actually put one piece of sticker paper here instead of two. That's weird. So this is going to be white paper with this planner belongs to Lisa Lotte. And then there's room for also like some cute stickers. So that will be fun. Then from here, this would be like a vision board yearly plan thing. Not sure, honestly, if I'm going to be using this. It could be like a cute highlight of the day thing, but I have other planners for that. To stick it together might be a bit weird. Well, I'll... Oh, maybe I can track something here. Days at the office or days worked or I need to, like expenses I need to declare. Something like that. Here, not yet sure what I'm going to put here, but at least it looks nice. And then this is, of course, the weekly layout that continues for the rest of the planner. Oh, and actually before um, I, yeah, this is just going to have to move. Finish with this video. I do want to put the sticker the kate spade new york sticker on my planner and before you say but lisa lotte isn't it a waste of such a gorgeous kate spade new york leather sticker wouldn't you want to hoard it forever and ever and keep it safe and keep it pretty and not have it scuffed and banged up on the front of your planner the answer is yes i would but i got two of these so i have one <laughs> i have an air and this is the spare <laughs> so the spare one can go in my planner oh my gosh this is so pretty. Okay, so this is my work planner. It looks like this. <laughs> you open it up. But um, most of the weeks will look something like this. Then, of course, with the text behind here. But that is something that I will do uh, off video because otherwise I will be so sad about all the meetings that I have next week. And that is not the atmosphere I want for this video. Thanks very much for watching. It was so fun to set this up. And uh, yeah, looking forward to using this planner. Hopefully it will work better for me than my other work planners that I have tried. But yeah, it's just a fun sort of quest to find a planner that works for me. And this looks like it is going to... I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic about this planner working for me. See you next time in my next video. Bye.